Hi everybody, um, I'm going to be, today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to show you all of my pedals on my pedal board right now. Um, what I've found, what I've noticed about myself is that recently I've been looking at people's pedal boards and looking at different people's pedal boards and kind of just seeing what they have and I don't know, it always interests me to see what kind of pedals they have on their board so I thought I'd do the same thing, I thought I'd share what I have on my pedal board. Um, so I guess I'm just, right now I'm just going to kind of go through each one and you can hear the different sounds and then I might combine uh, effects to kind of get you an idea of what I use. Okay, so this is the guitar with nothing on. Okay, so from the guitar going into the Electroharmonics Nano Big Muff, which this is actually the longest, it's actually the pedal I've had the most out of these ones. Um, it's an awesome pedal, it's a great, great sounding fuzz. Um, yeah, I'm just going to turn that on and I'm going to show you the, the settings that I have on it right now. big muff is that you get a lot of sustain out of it and sometimes I'll even have it at lower volumes and you can get like almost like an Eric Clapton woman tone type sound which I think is really cool you just back the tone off and you get this really woofy like uh, woman tone type thing <laughs> That's that's awesome. Uh, that's m big muff is definitely my main distortion, uh, and I I love it. Uh, it's a great sounding fuzz. And then we go into a boss. This is the newest pedal I've gotten. I haven't done any videos with this yet, but this is a, a boss CE5 chorus ensemble. Um, it's a great chorus. Really like it. Just gives you a nice shimmer, um, sh which is what I really like, and it's very, it's a very dreamy sounding uh, pedal, which is why I got chorus. And then we go, and then from the chorus we go into this Electroharmonics Stereo Pulsar, which is a tremolo. It's a variable shape tremolo. I, I actually did a demo of this. Uh, you could see more of what that does on the demo, um, but. Right now I have it going pretty fast, and it's on a square wave right now, and it's, yeah. Just has a nice fluttery quality to it. Um, it's on square wave mode. I'm going to go to triangle mode, and that's going to get a little softer. It's not going to be as choppy. So that's awesome. Um, and then from the tremolo, go into the 
dwarf craft devices wizard of pitch um, which is a pitch shifter but it's more than just a pitch shifter it kind of has um, a different sound that I, I really thought was very unique and I just I had to have this thing um, it's probably the most expensive pedal on the board um, it was originally two hundred twenty five dollars I traded stuff in and I got it for hundred twenty five dollars which I which you know that's why I'm probably not going to sell it because I got it for a really great deal um, <laughs> some really funky sounds out of it um, if I have the pitch up a little bit some really psychedelic sounding stuff um, and then you can also have do you can also have it do some like weird arpeggiation stuff Awesome, um, and then you can also have, when you have the bender switch down, it pulls your amplitude down, and that's really awesome. Oh, forgot the volume. So that's awesome for building neat sounds, and then from the Wizard of Pitch, I go into my trusty Boss RC1 Looper uh, Loop Station, which I use that all the time. It's essential for me because I do a lot of looping. Um, now I guess I'm just going to see, I'm just going to show you like how I, like some certain f effects that I combine most of the time. So one, one thing that I do is I combine the Wizard of Pitch and the Stereo Pulsar, and you get just this really weird, like, psychedelic kind of like hummingbird sound kind of thing. Combine the wizard of pitch with CE5 chorus. One, one thing 
effects that I combine the most is the Big Muff and the Tremolo, which, you know, gives you that classic choppy helicopter sound.